Looking here at Algebra Pace 1107, pages 25 and 26. These are some more mixture problems. And uh, these are particularly interesting because they're liquid mixtures and um, dealing with percents. All right. So let's look together here at... Um, Actually, they give you some clues on number five. So I'm not going to really set that one up for you. But think about this. <clears throat> um, actually, let's talk about number five, okay? <laughs> Whenever I'm doing these problems with my students, this is the way I do it. I draw a picture. So when we do a picture, plus a picture equals, so we, these are like containers, I tell them. And in number five, it says Ace's father has 10 liters of a 20% antifreeze. And then he's going to add how many liters of antifreeze to get a 50% solution of antifreeze. Okay? So, by the way, do you know how to make antifreeze? It's real easy in the winter. You take your coat away from your auntie and you put her outside and she gets cold. That's how you make antifreeze. Sorry. All right. Percent. First one is kind of diluted. It's 20% and he wants to make it stronger, 50%. The thing is, he's adding pure antifreeze. So, what percent antifreeze is pure antifreeze? And the problem actually tells you, okay, that it's 100%. So that's the hint. So we'll put 100% right here. And then it tells us we're starting with 10 liters. So I like to put that right underneath. We don't know how much we're adding, so we'll call that X. But we're going to end up with, guess what? If I added 5 liters here, I'm going to end up with 15. If I add 7 liters, I'm going to end up with 17, because whatever I add here is being added to the 10, so my final quantity has to be what I start with plus what I add. So this is the final quantity. Now I'm just going to multiply these together. The pace, and some textbooks will do this. They want to convert all of the percents into decimals. <clears throat> because we have percents on both sides of the equation, it's actually easier if we just leave it. So I'm going to multiply 20 times 10 and get 200 plus 100x. And now multiply, it's kind of like distributive property, 50 times both of these, so 500 plus 50x. Okay? <clears throat> I'm not going to finish it. You can solve, you know, maybe subtract the 200 from both sides, subtract 5x from both sides, solve for x. Okay? I'll let you finish that one. Let's set up the next one. So I like to leave the boxes because basically I'm going to do it the same way. Number six, a dairy has 200 liters of milk. That's 5% dairy fat. So 200 liters, 5%. How many liters of skim milk? which is 0%, which is why I don't like skim milk, must be added to make milk that's 4%. So basically what we're doing is we're diluting. This is nice, rich milk, 5%. And we're trying to dilute it down to 4%. Maybe you've heard of 1% and 2% milk. I know my wife likes 1%. I can't handle less than 2% on my cereal. Uh, but 4% would be kind of like whole milk. So this is a richer buttermilk. And then they're adding skim milk, which is 0%. Okay? And we're going to end up, in, by doing that, with 4%. Now, we don't know how much we're adding. So that's X. So what's the quantity we end up with? 20, or 200, plus X. Are you with me? We started with 200 liters at 5%. We don't know how many liters we're adding of skim milk, but we're going to end up with this much, putting these together, this much of the combined at 4%. Now we just multiply. 200 times 5 is 
1,000 plus, guess what zero times x is? Zero. So actually, I don't even need that. Equals distribute 800 plus 4x. Real simple. Okay, now you can just solve for x. Subtract the 800, finish solving, and you'll know how many pounds. All right, number seven. Let's just talk about it. I'm not going to even set it up. But a man adds 1.6 liters of 60% antifreeze solution to the water already in his car radiator. When the radiator is filled, the solution is 8%. How many liters does the radiator hold? Hint, the water is a 0% antifreeze solution. Okay? Well, let's at least... Get a little ways with this one. So he um, he's adding 60% antifreeze to the water. So the water, so what he already has in his radiator is just pure water. And he's adding 60% antifreeze. And when the radiator is full, the solution is 8%. Okay, so the final solution is 8%. So, he's adding 1.6 liters, so the 1.6 goes here. We actually don't know how much he had in the car to start with. The reason I do this one first is because he's starting with this. He's adding the antifreeze. They actually do it reversed as I'm looking at the pace here. They have this first plus this equals this, okay? Doesn't matter because we can switch the order we're adding things. So the water that's already in there, which we don't know how much that is, but it doesn't have any antifreeze in it. It's just pure water. Okay, so he quick needs to get some antifreeze in before winter or it's going to freeze and ruin his radiator. Um, I've had that happen, I know. So then over here, the quantity is going to be the 1.6 liters plus the unknown liters that were already in the radiator. And now just multiply this times this. This distributed times this. Zero times x is just zero. Okay, so again, that's just kind of gone. And now you can solve for x. Okay, so once you have those, you kind of get the idea of how those work. The solving part isn't too bad. All right, just multiply straight down and then solve for x. Hopefully that helps you.